Okay, that's seven o'clock. Uh, this is the Department of Town Board meeting for August 8th, 2023. Uh, we have no public hearings tonight. So I would to rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag in the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Ron. I'm going to the agenda in a couple of minutes from the town board meeting on July 25th. I'm open. Second. Which my name, second my mic, comments, corrections. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, privilege of the floor. We have Matt Thompson here from Marathon Engineering and discuss a little bit about phase three, the Redfield Road and Center Zone. Welcome, Matt. Good evening. Thank you. I don't have a microphone, so I'll talk loud. Thank you. Never mind. I have a microphone. It's good. I didn't even hit my head on it. Um, appreciate the board's time tonight. We uh, have been working on this with the police folks, and Frank wasn't able to be here, but he was present at the PRC meeting last week where we discussed this proposal with town staff. I'm also joined by Rafael Barreto from my office. And uh, this property or project uh, has been ongoing for quite some time. Back in 2015, the town board approved an incentive zoning uh, for this parcel as well as the residential uh, to the north. And uh, over the last eight years, been eight years since 2015, uh, the demand uh, really hasn't been there for the commercial buildings as they were originally anticipated along this portion of the project. And I'm just going to talk a little bit right now. We have these denoted lots one through five and then lot 71. Um, the original incentive zoning at the north. Uh, west corner of Commercial Drive and State Route 96 originally incorporated Lot 1, uh, which I'm pointing to here on the screen that some of you can see, uh, into Lot 2. That had a driveway and some additional parking on it. Uh, the DeFelices would like to market that uh, existing building and small parking area to uh, prospective commercial tenants, small um, office type use that would limit uh, the amount of traffic and the driveway proximate to the intersection of commercial drive and leave that building as is. It currently has a residential uh, tenant in it that they're in the process of, of moving out and then would market that as a commercial or small business opportunity. Then for lots two through five, originally there were a total of five lots and five buildings proposed there with a sixth on lot 71. The overall proposal is extremely similar to the original conditions. Uh, the impacts that we've identified really fall within the bounds of what the board previously approved and considered back when this was uh, done originally. Some changes that I wanted to highlight and part of the reason we're here tonight is for or to request that this board refer this to the planning board for their consideration prior to the town board acting on the incentive zoning modification. I know that the planning board is more interested in some of the landscaping and other things, but I did want to just mention those for this board. We've kept the overall square footage of the buildings, overall square footage of the lots consistent with the original approval. The original approval had the, the uh, commercial buildings which in the, are in the brown with patios denoted on each of the fronts, more central to the lot with a drive aisle or access drive to the west or rear uh, of the buildings so that they were uh, able to be uh, circulated by traffic or by delivery vehicles, that kind of thing. And with this proposal, we're pushing all the pavement up to the side yard or the front of the lots and further away from the residential. That allows us to provide a, a six foot high solid screening fence and additional landscaping between the development and the residential to the west. We think that that's a, a benefit to the neighborhood and the overall design. That also allows for more efficient use for kind of the business retail uh, type uses that we'd like to put in these buildings versus a straight commercial or more utilitarian design where there's double loaded parking uh, along the drive aisles with limited or shared access points between all of them to help simplify circulation. 
Uh, lot 71 would be a standalone and kind of contemplated for the same type of development as previously approved uh, because it is an undeveloped lot within the incentive zoning. We're including that in our modification request, but that development, if and when a tenant is identified, would be consistent with what we're proposing here. Uh, the intent of the building, and, and we did submit uh, some generic elevations, would be similar to the northeast corner, which is a building that was recently constructed by the defalices as well. So very similar architecture, uh, matching of materials, kind of the same kind of tenant mix that would be anticipated for that. So that's the broad overview of what we're looking uh, to accomplish with the incentive zoning modification request that we have before this board. We've got to go to the planning board for their recommendation back to you, as well as a couple of other steps and working with town staff to address any comments that come up. But I wanted to present that to you tonight, request your recommendation, and of course, answer any questions if there are any. So that one, one correction is the residential is the east of your design, not the west. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, north is to the right, and I got myself mixed up. Yeah. Thank you. Staff or no more any questions? The setback, the rear setbacks of the buildings, if that's also being requested to be changed, correct? The rear setback of the buildings, I'm sorry, I have a very small print on here. Uh, the existing zoning was 30 feet, and we're proposing to make that down to 24 feet. That's the building setback. Originally, there was a 20 foot wide, 16 foot or 20 foot wide asphalt dry aisle at the rear. So that shrunk the green space to 12 to 14 feet, we've increased that to essentially 20 feet um, and increased buffering. So we so think there's a, no asphalt behind the building. Just a concrete sidewalk for access to the rear egress doors right up against the back of the building. Okay. Well, I wasn't on the board yet. So I didn't approve. What is the, is there anything that needs to be done at the intersection? 96 and commercial that flow code on up in the track study done for that yet? It's already been done. It's the, the right turn lane has been put in there that the state agreed to. Okay, I didn't know if there was that was already, yeah. Address with this, I don't know what the <laughs> traffic impact was looking at. It. This isn't a major change from the original. No, I didn't know what the original proposal yeah, was. So it was for my time. The original proposal had essentially the same amount of square footage that was in there uh, as we're proposing today. Just a an additional building, uh, if you will. And I did fail to mention, uh, since this has been uh, approved back in 2015, of course, the town has enacted uh, the overlay district, so along Route 96, so we will be adding uh, the light poles along the frontage when developed, uh, as well as uh, their sidewalk already, but being consistent with the Main Street overlay districts uh, that we need to comply with. Any public question? Yeah. Anybody online? All right, Matt, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Uh, next thing on the agenda is any public concerns? Anybody in the room? Public concerns? Anybody online? Public concerns? Okay, report sustaining committees, public works. Yeah, we actually met yesterday afternoon. Starting on Highway and Parks. Um, again, a lot of just ongoing stuff. Equipment maintenance is always on the list. Roadside mowing this time of year is always on the list. We had some trucks um, out helping Victor and Phelps this week. They finished some yard restorations in Doehaven and Bottle Lane. And they've also been doing some milling and patching. Uh, over on Rouseler and Kite Road. Um, again, some repairs to equipment. We had a discussion a little bit about Klein and Brownsville Road, that project, and then your engineer can touch on that a little bit, but that's been going very well. I know uh, they have binder down. I think they're planning on paving tomorrow. So as soon as they can get that paved in line, we'll just be minor work to be done over there. On the park side, again, Obviously, mowing all summer, field lining for sports. Uh, we are doing some crosswalk painting, and we're moving the backstop over in Farmbrook. 
Um, they've been going through and just checking stone dust trails with the heavy downpours we've been getting. That's a constant battle, just making sure the trails don't get washed out. Uh, doing some training and we also had some plumbing repairs um, with the Grove and also with the highway department. And it's got one resolution on the agenda. We can discuss that when it comes up. On the water and sewer side of things, um, Digester One, we've been talking about that for a long time. Um, they have a gasket for the dome that needs to be replaced. We've just been waiting on crane service. Um, that's actually scheduled for the 11th uh, to get that gasket installed. And then I think we're almost take Digester One off the list. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, UV system down there, um, it is working. Uh, we've ordered some replacement parts. There'll be more of that for next year as well. Flow meters, um, ongoing discussion. We have a resolution actually tonight uh, to purchase a couple of new style flow meters. It'll be installed out in the system, just to use the measure, obviously, infiltration in the system. We've been doing manhole inspections. Several up in Victor, Cobblestone area, and also some I and I inspections around Mark Circle. Uh, they have done some smoke testing in the sewer in the Doe Haven area. That's being followed up with um, hammering sewer lines. You know, if they get heavy rainfall, they go into a camera system just to get in to see if there's any water infiltrating the system. Uh, really, everything else is. Pretty much ongoing hydrant flushing, weed trimming around the hydrants. Um, and we also had some discussion about some paving and drainage work that'll be done uh, at the plant as well. That's about it. Thanks, Steve. Coming on operations. Uh, operations this morning. Um, eight resolutions. We can assess when they come up. A couple of resolutions. Um, some points, some grant applications that are happening. Um, <clears throat> The building department, they're working on amendments to the town's site design and development criteria, some specific changes that uh, they wanted to address. Um, and Dan will have a further report on permit numbers and anything else. Um, the TAP sidewalk grant project is on schedule. Um, TAP is meeting with the Recreation Advisory Board um, to do their Chapter 9 amendments to the town code. We've been working with all of our advisory boards um, to get some more a better clarification of what exactly their role is um, in their in their capacity as the advisory boards. <laughs> Working with the planning board for them to the incentive zoning district for Redfield Grove, we just uh, we just heard from um, Ag Advisory Committee meeting uh, be here on the seventeenth at six thirty, um, and they'll be meeting with the assessor uh, regarding um, state agriculture exemptions on property taxes. You know, the county drainage study and the consolidated funding application um, for Black Brook and Black Creek uh, drainage areas. And Ron will report on anything else that needs to. I think it's called on. Thanks, Dave. Reports to town officials, uh, supervising. Uh, we started this week issuing compost containers. Uh, nine residents have picked them up so far this year with an amendment for 21 of the 25. So anybody would like to compost container of uh, varsity here in the office, the process 20 will be 25 hours. And then we're also taking names so we can um, budget for 2024. Our 2024 budget sheets are due next week from our department heads. Uh, we will then review them and we'll get back to any of the departments with questions. I would like to file the tentative budget prior to our September 12th board meeting. And then we schedule workshops from September 14th to September 26th with our departments and outside agencies. Uh, Tom Board, just a reminder to get back to Dan by the 15th with any questions you may have. And the program to go after funding for car charging stations. We've been working with a group from Victor since May of 2022. And it looks like additional funding will be available either late this year or early next year. In Ontario County, this morning I had the 
Ontario County Economic mm -hmm. Development meeting. We met in Geneva at the Cornell Agricultural Technical Center. We got a, besides having a regular meeting, we had a tour through some of the labs. They had labs there that studied all kinds of food and plants <laughs> and these startup companies will send their products there first to test them for taste and even shelf them. Many, many things that they, they look at there and help uh, small companies and big. Wegmans uh, is funded the lab there also as, as, long, as well as other companies. Next week is the committee cycles of Ontario County for the 24-25 budget. They do a two-year budget and that will start for all the departments in the county. And that's all I have today, except that we did help the Farmington Volunteer Fire Department with uh, serving the chickens, uh, chicken and their chicken barbecue. I thank everybody for showing up. I went to Marks. Um, yeah, so this afternoon, um, I had a gentleman stop by that had put in an application and he was checking on it. I hadn't got in. Had enough time to give him a call yet, but he stopped in. So I decided to take the time out to interview him today uh, for the MEO position. Um, he seems to be a good fit. He has plow experience. Um, he's worked with asphalt. He's been to all the plants around, so he's familiar with all that. Um, so I offered him the job and he accepted it. Well, the next town board resolution. I'll have a resolution to the next town board meeting for. Will that fill you up except for the mechanic? That'll fill me up except for the mechanic. Still in need of a mechanic. That's right. He was prompt because he must have called Marcy the, the second he got out of the interview. <laughs> he did. Yeah. So, he was big which right and then drive home. Yeah. yeah. That's good. So yeah, no, he showed him sign up, but he wanted the job. So he yeah. got it. Let's see how he hopefully he works out. Very, right, very good. Thank you. Yep. I'm clear. I have nothing. Sure. Our intern continues to work on our lead service line inventory. And while that's not due until October October 2024, there are 3,156 uh, records that she has to put in. So it's kind of tedious. It's good that she's. Uh, working on this. I had an opportunity to interview another in, uh, intern from RIT, which will be on the agenda for this evening. And the North Road Water Project was started on Monday, and I would imagine Mr. Berman will be speaking about that. Okay. I drove by, they were busy. Yeah. Yeah, they're moving right along. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Uh, planning meeting. Our last meeting, we approved a couple of two finals for houses to be built. <coughs> and uh, our next meeting next week has been canceled with an agenda until September. So, for the following meeting. Get paid in the I'm on vacation. <laughs> I wasn't going to make it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we close that. Yeah. So. <laughs> And go to the zone. All right. Uh, for July, we did 89 permits, 234 inspections, seven fire inspections, uh, 10 stormwater inspections, and 39 zoning inspections. Uh, we do have a couple of applicants uh, applied for our zoning position. I'm hoping to set up interviews here shortly. And uh, the other big thing that happened this week was we were visited by New York State Archives. Um, to let us know that they thought we have done a very good job with our scanning grants, uh, and that's why we keep getting awarded. And they would like to use the town of Farmington as an example for other municipalities. So very, very good, excellent. Madam Director, planning and development. Okay, a couple of things uh, before the next town board meeting. There'll be two ribbon cuttings in the town. One for the Reliant Federal Credit Union over there at the Farms and Commons Plaza. And the other one 
at uh, Auburn Junction uh, on Route 332 for the uh, University of Rochester Medical Center at Thompson Health. Uh, neighbors to, uh, to you, Lori. Or, um, we had a meeting today with Fisher engineers to talk about uh, su suggested changes to the Stone Dust Trail surface for at least a portion of it. Uh, Tim, I, and, and uh, Peter from Fisher Associates. And if it stops raining, they'll be back out tomorrow to go out and look at the, uh, the area and, and use that in their design. The uh, Brickyard Road water tank, um, as you know, uh, we have received information that they are uh, relocating a portion of the water line there in the town of Canandaigua uh, that necessitated a re uh, coordinated a review with the involved agencies just to see if there were any issues uh, of concern to them. Those comments are due by the uh, end of next week, the 18th, I believe it is. And we'll be dealing with this on the meeting on the 22nd, uh, accepting parts two and three and making the, any determination that may be necessary. Um, we have received here the latest FEMA maps. Um, there are revisions underway. There will be public meetings on these map amendments. And uh, ultimately, uh, we'll be looking to make some further amendments to Chapter 87 of the Town Code, which is the floodplain regulations. And then finally, uh, we have a uh, uh, report that we'll be starting to work on with the planning board to the town board, the annual report on the comprehensive plan. Other than that, uh, the only thing I have is that the town ops report has been posted today on the website and uh, answer any questions anybody has. Thanks, Ron. Question? I'm an engineer, Dave. Um, so Klein and Brownsville was brought up that project's been moving along quite quickly. Um, they've been doing a great job out there. The plan that I heard today was they're planning on doing paving tomorrow um, and then weather pending, because it seems like we're getting rain every other day now, uh, they'll follow it up as quickly as they can with striping and then uh, top soil and seeding. So that job's moving along well. And then as Dave mentioned, North Road Water started up this week and just in these two days, they've already seemed like they're moving along pretty good. So hopefully that'll get moving before school starts and get everything done there. And when we had pre construction, it wasn't kidding when he said he wanted to be done in three weeks. Yeah, he, he brought quite a few guys and they're getting at it. So they're doing good. What by around noon or so they're already asked like four properties. Yep. Very good. Thanks. Uh no session tonight. Uh recreation, some recreation did finish uh, last Friday. Uh, on any given day, we had 250 children at the park, so it was a, a great summer for that. Um, communication are on file, reports and minutes are on file, and then next is resolution. So, the resolution authorizes the annual report to attend the American State Building Official Conference annual business meeting. That's on September 12th at Chautauqua. Harbor Hotel, cost not to exceed two hundred and fifty dollars. So, second, motion by Mike, second by Nate. How many questions? You're not running for president or anything, are you? Nope. Just okay. taking it at the top. Yes. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Susan resolution authorizing the pay increase for wastewater treatment plant operator Matt Thompson to assess the completion of the Great Board Management Course. Dollar fifty an hour from twenty seven fifty to twenty nine dollars an hour effective payroll seventeen. So moved second. Portion of second. And we're always glad when our treatment plant operators uh, go and get their additional qualifications so they can move up. All in favor? Aye. Aye. There's also a resolution for a pay increase for another wastewater treatment plant operator, Kenneth Bell. 
for successful completion of basic operation and basic laboratory courses. That's a $2.50 hour increase from $23.50 an hour to $26 an hour, effective on payroll 17. So, thank you, Mike. Second, your name. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Worst resolution and endorsement in support of the South Farmington Friends Cemetery Association grant application to the Ontario Fund under the Federal American Rescue Act. So moved. Second. First by Steve, second by Mike. That's one of the three we have out there. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 As a resolution for we purchase the flow meters from CPE for cost not to exceed $19,999. So, second. First, my name, second, by Steve. Uh, we did get three quotes for that. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Six of resolution of resident acceptance of donations. Second. First by Ron, second by Mike. And this is the second group of donations uh, based on our 3rd of July celebration. All in favor? Aye. 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 $350, by the way. Evans resolution requesting a report and recommendation from the Farmington Planning Board upon the proposed amendments to the remaining undeveloped portion of phase three. On the overall site plan for the Redfield Grove and Sun Zoning Project. Of course, my mind set my name and the discussion again this evening uh, with the engineers for the project. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's resolution authorizing acceptance of the monthly report of the supervisor for July 2023. Second. Motion by Ron, second by Steve. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Nine's resolution authorizing the budget amendment from the Lane Fund Fund, transferring money from appropriated fund balance to farm work polls contractual in the total amount of seven hundred and sixty dollars. Second. Motion for the aid, second by Steve, and we did have to fix a couple of lights in the farm room. All in favor? Aye. 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 And the resolution of endorsement support of the Council of Performing Arts Center Wellness Garden Project grant application to Ontario County under the Federal American Rescue Act. Motion by Mike, second by Ron. Comments, questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 resolution recall and amend resolution 168 2023, operating the Highway Park Superintendent to hire vendors. For the 2023 annual spring and fall cleanings. Second. Fourth by name, second by Mike. We basically, we had to change a vendor from the spring to the, the fall operations. Um, what's the dates coming right now? Oh, I had to ask that first, first weekend in October, or? like the 14th. It was the second weekend. Oh, let me look at my calendar. Give me a second. I think it's the 13th and 14th of October. Okay, fall cleanup. Generally, we think 13th, 14th October. Uh, I had second. First and second, all in favor? Aye. 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 the resolution of endorsement for supporting the Council and Performing Arts Center in addition project grant application by Ontario mm -hmm. County under the Federal American Rescue Act. So moved. Second. That's my C's on the point. Comments, questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, 13 is the abstract 15 of 2023 to pay the bills. General fund, $96,242.65. Highway fund, $172,272.32. Sidewalk capital project, $3,082.75. Storm range from $133.85. Lighting district, $1,814. Sewer district, $266,827.83. Water 
Water District $13,438. Payroll deductions $66.87 for a total abstract $554,278.27. I have a motion. Second. Motion by Ron. Second by Mike. Any extensions, directions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, no training under $100. Any discussion on it? Okay, uh, we have the rule. I do apologize. Maybe at 4 o'clock, had to add a couple of extra resolutions so that we looked at the agenda prior to 4 o'clock or printed out your agenda other than it's changed slightly. Any objections to waiting the rule or five resolutions? Hearing none. First one is resolution authorizing the rule of the town requirement to test the side of the application. Second. My run, second my move. Mike. All in favor? Aye, aye, aye. aye. Read the resolution authorizing the water and sewer superintendent to hire an intern at the rate of seventeen dollars per hour, effective immediately. Come up with the second. My name, second by Steve. Individually, all in favor? Aye. Thank you, gentlemen. There'd be a little overlap, right? For the first intern. Yes. Good. Uh, the third waiver in resolution was Northland, the proposed Black Creek, Black Brook Grain Study, and amendment of matching grant funds for providing a comprehensive system. Corridor assessment and hydrological model. Some second. Okay. Motion by Steve or Mike, step by Steve. Uh, again, this is uh, we're participating with Ontario County and a couple other towns to share the costs. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Where's the resolution regarding the consent of the town board to dedicate Monarch Drive and Brimstone Drive? The Monarch Manor Subdivision Section 2, and it does recall a recall. It recalls for a roll call. So, second. Question by Ron, second by Mike. So these came in. These are the ones that came about the very different dedication we had with the easements. The next one came in at four o'clock. But everybody is okay. Okay, he's gonna say a lot of it's a lot of one of the experts. They don't bother you that much. Yeah, everybody is they would personally show up at a week. So the, the first one is the actual dedication of our driver drive and snow. Supervising those things? Aye. Councilman Bowerman? Aye. Councilman Herring Dean? Aye. Councilman Casale. Aye. Councilman Holtz. Aye. All right, and there's a section here, one page where you have the sign box. Yeah. Hmm? You have two more. Mm -hmm. Carl's going to like it. More roads plowed. Yeah. yeah. And number five, resolution operating acceptance of easements for AD Real Estate Development LLC, Monarch Manor. This also requires a roll call. Oh, second. Where's my name? Second, my wait. Any comments, questions? Ask all set on this one also. Um, roll call vote. Please. Supervisor Engelsby? Aye. Councilman Bowerman? Aye. Councilman Aaron Dean? Aye. Councilman Cassell? Aye. Councilman Oates? Aye. And that one passes. Is there anything else to bring in from the town board today? Anybody in the line? Bring my thing to the town board. Hearing nothing. All right, ask for a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Second.